Corruption. It's like, this place reminds me of a Turkish prison. I wanted someplace safe for you. How'd it go? There's a lot more than, than you said there were. Is he dead? Very dead. That guy was a man. <laughs> you knew too much. You know too much. Let me get another 20. Why? We made the deal, Nick. You know I don't do after the facts. Make it 30. What are you doing? You got money coming out of your nose. What do you care? What do you think it's worth to keep you a secret? Your father just rolled in his grave. <laughs> keep him out of it. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. I'll wire it tomorrow. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're here late tonight. Yeah, I'm staying late tonight. I need the money. Mm. Scotch? Need? Please. Here, just take it. You sure? I think you're the only waitress ever to have said that. <laughs> I don't see you as a customer. Now, what am I? Stepbrother porn? <laughs> brown chicken brown cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Is this even appropriate? I doubt I'm the first employee you party with. I've got to get going. Are you gonna turn into a pumpkin? Something like that. Yeah, I'm good. I got a couple of hours before the sun comes up. Listen, there's some gamblers coming into town. They're coming in from LA. They're bringing in a lot of cash. What's a lot? About a half a million. I want half. Yeah, I want to fuck a Kardashian. But that ain't happening. We're going three ways, and that's how it is. Are you in or you out? Yes or no? How heavy is it? It's not that heavy. These guys are probably packing, but they're lawyers. And if someone decides to be a hero? One of them want to be a hero. Punch a ticket, take it for a ride, no one's gonna miss him. Besides, one less lawyer, who cares? Hi, so I found out a little more about this guy. Yeah, what? He's actually a cop. Great. I know. 
If you don't want to do it, I totally understand. Well, is there money in there? The safe is full. Confirmed. Then it's ours. How are you going to get past the cameras? I have to move faster than they can see me. How do you do that? Magic, baby. Pure magic. How you doing, my friend? I can blame, but what would that do? What's the matter? What's the matter? I live in a fucking adult daycare. These fucking scoongeely think nothing will happen if they don't pay me on time. How late are they? Late enough to blind them. Really? If I don't see my money, why should they? Well, you don't play around, do you? When I became a man, I put away all childish things. What's that, Machiavelli? Catholic school. Thank you, Des. Here, that's for you. Hey, thank you, Nick. Does you know if it's night outside? Well, yeah. All right, I better get going. It's good to see you. Thank you. <clears throat> Likewise. Better now? Yeah. What happened? I got a call. And? Girk Romanov. He's planning a meet tonight. Here. The Russian, right? How do you even get in the country? We don't want that meeting to happen. Remind me. He's the big bad wolf that got into Area 51. What do they want? An edge. Anything. You. He finds out about you. And they, they don't have anything on me there. I'm just saying. We don't want a guy like that shopping around. I don't need motivation. I need 50 grand for that. Feels like a lot for one guy. Well, he's the big bad wolf, right? Throw in 15 for backup, too. I pay for Gladys Knight. The pips are on you. I don't want to do all the work and lose everything again. Well, you were the competition before. This time you'll be working with me. We tried this before. I said, let the enemy lines be fairy tale for the governments to raise money. We consolidate the power across the borders. Bonimayesh? Well, I didn't come here to take orders from politicians. We pulled the curtain on them. The real power is in the shadows now. Slushy. And they know this da. Well, if they do know this, I'll know who told them. Just be ready to take over. What the fuck, piece of shit, Suka?
I may have found a way. But I need some special equipment to test it out. I don't have it in my lab. What does this equipment cost? It's a lot, like $200,000. You sure it'll work? No, uh, I'm not, but it is the next step to take. Uh, we, we don't know how it's gonna be till we try it out on you. Is there a chance that this can make things worse? It's like walking on Jupiter. We know how to get there, but we don't know how it's gonna be until we land. I'll get the money. I can't do that. You know, I, uh, I can't do pool parties. You know, I appreciate you inviting me, but... I understand. I'm not crazy about crowds after a night of working here. No, it's... I have this thing. I have a condition. I can't go out in daylight. Sorry? No, it's, it's fine. It's, this is really the perfect place for it to happen. You think so? Well, yeah. You think about it. You ever seen a casino that had clocks or windows? I could spend all day inside. Yeah, that's true. I miss the sun. I do. Especially because I can't. The forbidden fruit? Yeah. What's wrong? Lies. They kind of get in the way of hope. You write songs or you just like to complicate things with riddles? Oh. Finish your drink and I'll tell you about my past. This is who you really are. Are you freaked out? I don't believe it. I told you I want to be with you. You think I would follow it up with the most outrageous lie in the world? Yeah, that's just in the movies. But you're always trying to get home before sunrise. Yeah, that's a thing. I can't go out in the daylight. Why? I can't explain it. It's not like it's a you know, scientific equation. What is it? It's not good. It didn't come from good. The Nazis were evil. But I'm not what happened to me. I'm me. I, um, 
Do you want to have a drink? Have a drink. No, no, I, I have to get going soon. You're scared. This is scaring you. I won't tell anyone. Look, it's just different. We can be it's different. Too much. Ah. Why should I expect anyone to want to have this in their life? I understand. Don? Carl, thank you for coming. This is Taggart. Taggart works with the corporations. He is a uh, problem solver. OK. And he's here now. You see, things, technology is blossoming out at Area 51. Uh, at this point, grand ideas are becoming realities. And? And we have to do what we need to do to protect our assets. Taggart is going to help you with that. Help me with what? I don't need help. I need room. Room to maneuver. Now you've had room, and nothing's gotten done. Listen, when you know what the fuck you're talking about, I'll listen. You have no idea what it takes to keep all sides happy. I learned from the best. And no one is downplaying what you and your father did. OK? You need to lighten up. Now look, he's brash. You're finesse. And that's what I need right now. Listen, I'm on your side. This Mr. Supernatural, the Nazi creation, he needs to be reined in. We've got things we can do now to maximize his abilities. It's not up to him anymore. I'll talk to him. Well, well maybe it's time for me to translate for you. Brother, look, you two mugs. One track mind, Nick. He's got a one track mind. I agree with him. When are we gonna get some girls over here? I tell you, the parties I'm gonna throw in that desert are gonna have the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. Casino in the desert. We got Moses taking us to the promised land. I like the idea, Meyer. Yeah. Voice, you gotta get your sister out of Berlin. So, Mike, I'm doing Berlin. Get in and out of there as soon as I can. Mazel. And listen, if you have a problem, get yourself to Italy. Our people will help you there. I appreciate that. I hope it doesn't come to that. Tell me. They got him. Fucking Nazis got him. They shot his sister in the street, and they took him away. I want you to reach your contacts. On my word, put up a million dollars. Done. I'll put up half a million. I want him back. All right, gentlemen, you know the location. OK, I want you to bring me back something special. Anything, name it. Bring me back an arm. An arm? Yes, a fucking arm. Either arm. Fuck it, both arms. All right. Got it.
Did you get what you need? What's wrong? Let's get out of here. <sighs> Don't we know? I know. You know how? I can smell adrenaline, you know that? I can smell them. You can smell? <laughs> I can smell adrenaline. I know when I smell it. It's like, it's like ammonia. I'm still smelling it. Yeah, that's because my heart is still beating out of my chest right now. They want something from me. And, I mean, what do they want? Like, your partner, the club? No. No, no, no. This is something more. These guys were professionals. You want a pain pill? Yeah. I need it. Thanks. You want to take a shower? You got clothes here. No, I want Chinese. So, I'm going to get a call. I want shrimp and egg. Egg foo young, right? Or is that a bad idea? We got any enemies you're not telling me about? Why? What's going on? I had someone try to make me their piece of work. You're kidding. No. Some guy was asking questions about you, Tracy, and Jet. He was saying... The waitress, Tracy? I don't know her. What does she know about me? You make time with Jet. Jet and Tracy are friends. And... I don't like people asking questions about me. I don't like these people either. Let's go shake their tree. I would have told you that without hating me. There's something about the way you looked at me when I said hello. What if I was the wrong guy? You are the wrong guy. You're the wrong guy to be asking questions about us. I ain't asking about you. You aren't too bright, are you? I've been hit. I've been assaulted. I would have said enough, but that would have just triggered more of the same. But my blood is not in the man. Yours is, Nick. By the drop or by the gallon. You're on the market for a high return. I'm just a cold caller looking for a lead. Well, I'm not aluminum siding. And you're not a cold to anything. Those are trained killers that came after me because of your snooping around. You're no pedestrian. And there's consequences. What's gonna happen when they wanna put a chip in your hand? In five years, it will be. Cursive. 
You know, they stopped teaching cursive to a lot of kids. Nicholas. Hmm. There's a problem. I like that. You like that there's a problem? I like that you get right to the point, just like your father did. They're looking to take a piece of you. Yeah, well, somebody tried taking a piece of me last night, and there's two extra graves in the desert right now. If they did, it was behind my back. Because they don't... They, 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 they who? They. The nameless. The money. The power. They just brought in a fixer. Who is he? Specifically. Some cocky black ops fuck. Thinks he knows everything, he's talking down to me. Your father would have shut this down right away. What do you care if they want to make another? It's just a little blood. Yeah? And then when they don't get the result they want, then what? Then they want more, and they always want more. Come on. I've done a lot of dirty work for you guys. I don't owe more. Think of a number. You'll never have to rob another safe again. You hear me complaining? You tell them I disappeared. You can't find me. Anyone can find anyone nowadays. Please, just play ball before they find some bullshit and throw you in a cell. I don't want to see you in jail for the rest of your life. And they won't close the curtains in there. This shouldn't have happened to me. This shouldn't happen to anyone. This isn't science. You want to release evil into the world in mass production? Maybe they can fix the daylight issue. Maybe they can help you fix it. And yes, why wouldn't they want a soldier with your powers? What did you tell them? You got a defense contract now? You trying to hit some home run? I didn't tell them anything. But you may have shown them everything. The brake. The emergency brake. I'm not superstitious, but... Karma? <laughs> Listen, karma's for bad people. Do we get to judge ourselves? Uh, yeah, it's called a conscience, and we do have one. <laughs> I want to be bulletproof like you. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad being... Yeah. What, what, like Superman? Yeah. Dead. Oh. You're not dead. Dead is dead. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder, is this a dream? Is this real? 
So what am I like, uh, a tourist in your imagination or something? It's been almost a hundred years and I always avoid this subject because it scares the shit out of me. You're not dead, you're here. And it's not your fault that something special happened to you by some bad people. They thought they were doing good. They thought they were helping their people. They didn't do it to themselves and they didn't give you a choice. I mean, they really could have killed you like real dead. I could have helped more people. Oh, Nick, stop it. You're gonna give me a cavity. <laughs> You're gonna have to get away from me. <laughs> so, you're saying that when the money's good, the party goes all night and it's me and you, it's fine. But when trouble happens and it's life and death, I'm supposed to just run away. Listen, there's enough of that in this world and I'm not gonna be one of them, okay? So, I, I have to live with myself for as long as that might be. up late. Here, I got something for you. We're getting there. How soon can you have the rest? What's wrong? I'm under a little pressure to take some high paying work. So I need you to, uh, all right. You understand? I do. I understand. All right. I, I am not abandoning our goal. Just sharing some of the pressure, right? Mm-hmm. All right. I'll get the money. Great. How are we doing? I'm doing fine. You seem to have pissed somebody off. If they were pissed off, I'd see them coming. These are pros. They're sending someone different every time. They either fund it or their family. Well, they're not gonna stop coming till they get a result. Go lamb it and let things cool down. You still have those guns? The, uh, the old ones. What were they? Lugers. German. I have a buyer. I'll put you two together. Yeah, good. I don't know how those other guys did it. That was the coldest day I have ever seen. And they were just running right at the guns. You could see in their eyes they were high as fuck, just screaming German shit. I was just running from one hole to another. Their holes? Foxholes? Yeah. Oh. I had frozen blood all the way up my arms. Just smelled like, like iron, like rare steak. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't have to babysit me. You can go have a good day. Go to the pool or something. Listen, I'm exactly where I want to be at, okay? <laughs> so, tell me about Paris. Paris? Yeah. You know, even with them there, that place is beautiful. You can't get a bad meal in Paris. Why don't we go? I just think I lost the desire. Even when I see it on TV, I look the other way. Just make new memories. Maybe we will. Let's see the goods. You fancy the Luger? If it came out of the holster of an SS officer, I'd want to possess it. He had this too.
Do you know what this medal is? Hit. It's the Knight's Cross, given directly by Hitler to officers of distinction. Where did you get this? Germany, 1943. You look pretty good for being over a hundred. <laughs> yeah, I was in Argentina. I met the grandson of the officer, and I got it. See, I like that even more. The idea that he got away clean. I'm sold. I ain't gonna try to do you down. You gotta come look at this thing. It's fucking beautiful. Yeah, I got it from some kite. Or at least I think he was a kite. I don't know, he had some sort of tattoo numbered on his forearm, like some sort of trendy Jew fashion. Anyway. Okay, hurry. And hey, hey, bring some snow. All right, bye. Buchenwald. What the fuck? Buchenwald. Camp. My Jew fashion. I'm gonna liberate your head from your fucking neck. <laughs> for you to come in. Change the subject. I can't anymore. Times have changed. Technology has changed. 
the Nazis used black magic and luck. Now, with things like CRISPR gene slicing, they can customize it. They can take it to the next level, Nick. Look, I know how you feel about this, but right now, I need all your focus on this. Please. Well, there's a word your father never used. Focus? <laughs> he never said please. He never said thank you. He never said I love you. He fought dirty and never apologized for anything. He cursed me with this. What do you know about a curse? You should be grateful. He had to deal with Nazi animals and solve plot puzzles. You, you deal with CEOs, give you Lear, Jets, and blank checks to go play Sherlock Holmes around the world. Come on. He was nice to you. He liked you. He loved you, you and your mother. You know, he was dealing with immeasurable stakes. Hitler wanted to plant his flag up this country's ass. He didn't want you doing a duck step. So he was hard on you. He was training you when you didn't think he was. He gave you the gift of purpose. You put it that way. <laughs> Ugh. I hated that when I was a kid. You were a good boy. And now, now I'm an old man. And you, you're the same as I first met you. Don't sleep too much. What does that mean? You know, I've never asked you. I've spent half my life hiding from the sun, wasting time, wasting life. What I would give to walk down the beach at noon without shitting down my legs. But you have forever. I'll take a day at the beach. I'm a good friend of Jake's. And we found him dead last night. Now see, he bought a gun from someone you vouched for. And the gun was the only thing taken. You're who? Who sold him the gun? Yeah, we don't just get people's names like that. You're accountable. You vouched. You know who we are. That's usually my line. You're in my place. You don't want no smoke with us. Next time, do your homework before you come in here acting up. <laughs> oh, I'm not acting. I don't give a fuck. I'll drain you right here. I've got something important I gotta take care of. And I, we can go away for a while if you want. Who are they? What do they want? They, they are greed. And what they want is more. <laughs> little fucking bitch, bitch. I got something for you. That guy's coming back. Go get my friend. Make some good gin, Nick. You like that? 
I got this crow on my side, Jack. You feeling rabid for me today? I'm all fucking jerked up. You know, these people out here, these poor people work all their lives in these factories. They end up with nothing. Us, we got the vice sector. This business is depression proof. There's plenty of money for everybody. But these mix, it's never enough for them. They want to get it all to themselves. It's greed. It's ugly. They want ugly? Go deliver ugly for me, Jack. Are you okay? I was just thinking about how I don't have anything on paper with him about being partners in that club. Is that a problem now? No, it's not, it's not what I mean. A handshake was good enough with him. That's rare now. Was it ever common? It used to be when everyone was immigrants. That's how we did it. Now? I'm sorry about Clive. He was very good to me. I was worried for you. I thought if it was you, how I would miss on someone. Different. <laughs> Special. Who would thought that the war will stop over a virus? It, it's maybe preparing us for something bigger. Maybe, I mean, it shows that anything is possible. Even being with a vampire? Vampire is a little extra. Let's call it something else. Okay, um, how about Batman? I can live with Batman. <laughs> Hi. How did you find me? Sit down. I'm working. I'm a paying customer. You can sit with me for a minute. Don't cause me a scene. Have you ever known me to cause a scene? I'm in control. No, no, actually, you're very good controlling situations. My relationships work because I'm sincere. I like my life now. I don't do anything that makes me uncomfortable. Well, then you're stuck in neutral. With me, your money was making money for you. You're on your way to being wealthy. My money went directly to your pocket. You own me. I taught you how to separate business from emotion. <laughs> it's easy to say when it's not your life that it's on the line. Look, we have some loose ends. 
I left everything for you to keep. I miss you. I need you. I've grown a lot since you last seen me. I found myself. I'm a money machine now. I need someone I can trust. I need you. You were always good with words. I was good with you. You owe me. Your money machine got its start by me. I left everything. I don't owe you anything. Fuck off. You lost your manners. You're gonna lose a lot more if you keep talking to me like that. Get up and walk out of here before I have a bouncer throw you through the doors. Have you ever seen me leave money on the table? We got a deal. Gonna collect. So the place is it's just a military installation. Their weapon is secrets and the power that they get from keeping them. Are you okay? I have a secret too. You're a cop. They wouldn't let me be a cop with my past. So what's going on? One kilo. Became 10, became 20. I was being watched, so I left and came over here. That was smart. There's someone from my past I used to work with. Your boss? More like a partner. This was your connection? Vultures goes where the money is. Were you sleeping with him? I did, but I left and it was supposed to remain in the past, but now he's back and he wants me back. What do you want? Are you mad? No, I'm serious. It's a step before mad. I'm not mad at you. I'm not going back. Good. It's just hard to make him understand. Well, that's my department. No, I don't want you guys to fight. It's, it's stresses me out. It's, it's listen hard. To, hard. Listen, this guy you're talking about that was taking all your money, he's a piece of shit. He never forced me. He wasn't bad. Forgive me, but I only have so much shoulder for you to cry on. You're gonna have to make a decision. What do you want to do? I lost a lot of money on this deal. I'm thinking 250,000 to let her go. 250,000. Well, I had a different number in mind. What's that? 27. 27 what? 27 is the floor we're on. Well, that's it. See you in a couple hours. Hours? Really? Once I inject you with the new blood, you should be able to go out and get a tan by morning. You're kidding. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So how much has he told you? He 
doesn't talk about his life. Just tell me, is he married? Would you stop? Depends. Maybe. Like him. Yeah, he's a romantic, but it won't last with him. How long did you last? We never ended, and we never will. Like that? He's special, so that's why I like him in my life. And if he asked me to work with you, are we cool? I mean, listen, we cool until we not, babe. So as long as you come proper, as long as you come loyal, if he says that you're in, you're in. If there's two grains of rice, you have one, he has one, I don't eat. So how long has it been since you've been in the sun? What, 43, 89 years. <laughs> wow. Wow, so what's that like? It'll make you grateful. You know how it is when you have the flu? How you're waiting for time to pass? Just looking forward to feeling better? You miss it? That's what it's like for me every day. You might miss being sick. I mean, hell, you've gotten used to it, right? No. I'm never gonna miss being sick. But... There is a kind of clarity I don't want to forget. Did you ever get sick before the sun? I've never been sick at night. Never. Maybe. What? Maybe it's the balance that needs to be. I have to be sick to live? Live forever? No. Uh. Well, how do you know? Well. Well, what? What I'm going against? What I'm trying to do with science is change what I think is a curse. I think that witch knew how evil they were and gave them a curse. The day would be their enemy. What is so funny? <laughs> the hat? <laughs> that hat was the shit back then. Everybody wanted to have that hat. You don't have to go through to get that hat? Accept mm, humiliations? <laughs> that hat cost me two weeks' salary back then. Awesome, Mr. Pina. <laughs> <laughs> Can I keep this? No. Would you sleep with that guy? If um, I lived at the Braille Institute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you there's a picture running out there in circulation you wish was a secret. Oh, I'm sorry. You look so <laughs> cute. <laughs> <laughs> I aged well. So, how did it go? We modified it, but we only had one dose. And that one dose is the only one that works in the day. Ooh. <sighs> Holy fucking shit.
Well, it's good to see you. Alive. Good. good to be alive. No thanks to that doctor. They told me they tried everything. <laughs> no, not so much. So, how do you feel? Tell me. Honestly, besides a splitting fucking headache, no different at all. Well, maybe there's a delay. Maybe we can run some tests. It was either gonna work or it wasn't. This well, is a dud. Well, let's see. Maybe they can make some adjustments. <laughs> there was one vial. I took it. With all that money spent? You're sure? Nothing? Nothing. Man, that's a bitter pill to swallow. We had big plans. You mean we? We, me and you, besides the doctor. And I wasn't going to say anything until I uh, had good news. Fuck. The doctor still thinks I'm dead, huh? Yeah, I'll call him. And I'm, I'm really sorry. Yeah, you gave it the old college try. What's up? Feel like you and I got off on the wrong foot. So I came to let you know that I'm actually here to help. I appreciate that. But what no one seems to understand is that he doesn't want any more of his kind. It's not greed. He just thinks it'll be the demise of mankind. You might be right about that. We're just lucky he hasn't vanished into the wind. Good luck finding him. Who's this now? So do you ever get used to it? Never. In the 70s, there was so much murder I didn't get close to anyone. In the 80s, it was worse. It's getting bad now. I want you to leave. Where am I going to go? This is my home. You go. You don't look back. Any place can be home. This place is for the dead now. So why don't you just come with me? I mean, how many times do you have to die? If they succeed, if they make more of these, the time will come when we become the enemy. How do you know? By that time, they'll be focused on the ones that they've already made. For a while. Then men will get scared of losing power, and that's when the hunt begins. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to start the hunt now. So, what can you do? <laughs> I'm fast as shit. I feel strong as Fuck. All my senses are tingling. They're at a peak. But at the same time, I'm controlled and calm. Dude, shit, sign me up. I'll tell you what, if I had a battalion felt like this, man, I'd make Hitler look like Liberace. And you could put a hell of a price tag on that. Yeah, well, first we need to get rid of the competition. Welcome to Gyrations. Can I get you a specialty cocktail? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, after uh, greeting that lame, I can definitely use a cocktail. How about a glass of shut the fuck up? <laughs> that's fucking shit. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Uh, tell you what, while you're at it, could you go ahead and shit in an envelope and mail it to me? Because I want to relive the way this conversation feels forever. But for now, I'll just take a vodka tonic with, uh, I'm sure, a healthy dose of your spit. A healthy dose? You're getting the special sauce, Captain. I'm expecting a great tip from you, you fucking prick. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I think I'm in love with you, actually. Oh, that's a shame. My shift just ended. But maybe next time you're in town, we can elope.
Where were we? You were telling me about the alien you were playing poker with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I fucking cheated. <laughs> Listen, what are the uh, chances of you getting out of here with me tonight? Why don't we take this, run through the slot machine? You got a better chance of making money with me tonight. I can't. Yes, you can. Ten grand. Listen, I'm not gonna pretend like I don't think you're gorgeous. I don't want to sleep with you. But tonight, it's worth a lot more to me to just come with me, hang out, share some laughs, make some money. Ten grand to gamble. Maybe have lousy sex. I'm never lousy. Listen, come with me. You'll be safe. Nobody has to know. We'll go out, have some fun, make some money. Fuck it. Let's make it fifteen thousand. Shit. Make it twenty. It's a gambling town. Twenty it is. My boyfriend is going to be looking for me. He's a cop. Oh, your boyfriend the cop? What, are you cheating on Nick? What do you want? I want a face-to-face -face with Nick. I want a sample of his blood. You can help me get him out here, or he can come out here and try and save your bleeding ass, and I can shut both of your eyes. He won't come. He can come here. He gets sick. <laughs> He just needs to be properly motivated. Nick? Nick, I'm sorry. They say if you don't come to me, they're going to kill me. You've been chasing your tail trying to figure out this daylight thing. We figured it out in 24 hours. Well, now what? Now? You're worthless. You're like a Ford Pinto in the land of electric cars. You went from Bella the Ball to doing the walk of shame at a youth hostel. How long do you think it is before they decide you're a threat? Well, it didn't work, so they won't. You're the only misfit left. So are you coming over here, or am I strangling this bitch to death with her intestines? Big secret. Let me see your fangs, man. I'll show them to you. Where's she at? Don't worry about her. She doesn't matter anymore, you understand? I'm calling the shots, and you fucking listen. I want to see her right now. All right, put them out of their misery. Chop them both up. Put all the pieces in those separate bags.
So how does this work? They freeze you. Then they bring you back in the future when they can cure you. It's like a chamber of hope. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Things that have no value now may have a lot of value in the future. I mean, if you're going to bring him back, you know he's probably going to want to kick your ass, right? <laughs> well, at least it'll be entertaining for you. Oh, well, I won't be here to see it, so. Yeah, I'm not getting in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> You drank his blood, and now you can live in the sun. I'm the one that modified that blood. I'm the only person in this world who knows about you now. And it can stay that way if you work with me from time to time. Where? Wherever the balance of power needs a push. <laughs> 